It's favor time. I'm going to give a favor to the Mac users who are sticking with their old Mac Pro. Now, by this time, the new Mac Pro, affectionately called the Mac Trash Can, not just by me, by Mac users, uh, the trash can, the round one, is out there and uh, people are using it. And it's fast. It's half a computer, in my opinion. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but if you're hanging on to your old Mac Pro, scratching your head, as I hear a lot out there, um, a lot of these Mac Pro use, old Mac Pro users are saying, what can I do? Does it really make a difference for me to spend upwards of $10,000 uh, on that new computer? What can I do with my old system? Well, the first thing you can do is you can stick in, and remember, I'm talking to video users. These are people primarily using Adobe applications like Premiere Pro CC. So how to make these uh, applications run faster? Well, what you can do is stick in a graphics card with a GPU, a graphics processing unit. Um, like something like I have right here. Now, this is what I, I pulled out of my HP Z820. This is a Quadro K6000, an insanely fast card, amazing. Uh, I can have multiple uh, GPUs inside there. Now, you can't put a K6000, but you can put a K5000 inside your uh, old Mac Pro. In fact, uh, Premiere Pro takes advantage of multiple K5000 cards that you can install inside here. And I think you'd be shocked by the results. Let, look at this chart right now. You can see that on the uh, left-hand side, the first three, they're all the new Mac Pro, they're all the trash can, and you can see that this rating uh, shows a rating of one, and, and what we're doing uh, to get these tests is, um, NVIDIA actually has a Premiere Pro project that they run. It goes through a number of operations that use GPU acceleration, and then they come up with a final result, or no GPU acceleration. They can, they can actually test it with and without. So on the chart, you can see on the left, that's the four core, uh, then the six core, and the 12 core. These are the new Mac Pro. And on the right hand side, with one Quadro K5000 card, the Mac Pro um, actually does a pretty good job. It's almost as good as the new Mac Pro four core. And then have a look at that. When you stick two K5000 cards in there, it actually performs faster than the fastest new Mac Pro. That is nuts. That is a crazy amount of speed in a machine that you have already. Now, the other thing I would do is I would definitely throw in some SSD drives that are a heck of a lot faster, raid those up. And one of the, the, the reasons I think that the new Mac Pros are half a computer is because too many people rely on Thunderbolt. I hear this all the time. Ah, I'll just stick something external on Thunderbolt. Have you priced something like a Sonnet chassis to run a card fast like this that requires an enormous amount of power? Uh, to stick this kind of a card externally on Thunderbolt, it's over $1,000 for a chassis from a company like Sonnet. That's nuts. So now you got this big ugly chassis, cables flying everywhere just to power this on something that should be powered inside. That's what I use. My HP Z820 uh, runs this K6000. In fact, I can have multiple GPUs in there and the power supply is just fine. Now your power supply in your old Mac Pro is actually great. It's going to be able to handle two K5000 cards as I showed you in this chart. It's amazing. Now I wanted to do a quick test and I, I don't have any Mac Pros. So I asked my uh, buddy Brad over at The Matrix to run a few tests and he ran a test on a uh, pretty heavy project and it's it's pretty crazy um, the the same project uh, with gpu on 30 seconds gpu off uh, this is without uh, CUDA acceleration 10 minutes 30 seconds 10 minutes so if you're in the video world and you're applying tons of effects, a color correction, lumetry effect, uh, levels and curves, and you're exporting out and you want to take advantage of that, this is where GPUs and multiple GPUs is going to take uh, advantage of that. Now, I also want to address a huge error uh, on AMD. They have, uh, let's look at their website here, and you can see that in the middle, they're showing OpenCL versus CUDA, and it, it's basically the W5000 against the K2000. And look down at the bottom. 
it says Premiere Pro pre-release software. This was actually run on a pre-release piece of uh, Premiere Pro code and it contained bugs in the NVIDIA code that have since been fixed, like over a year ago have been fixed. So you're doing a disservice to your own customers by having inaccurate information on your website. So you might want to update this. So bottom line is, you got an old Mac Pro and you're wondering about moving to the trash can, you don't have to. Stick in a couple of NVIDIA Quadro K5000 cards and you've saved yourself a ton of money.